You know, these guys really like to chat, don't they? <laughs> yeah. Fatty and Terry on the run <laughs> and don't cook noodles. <laughs> What's going on here, guys? Yeah. Let's just yeah. play. <laughs> <laughs> All I right. think they're just uh, being friendly. <laughs> oh, of course, of course. No, these guys are uh, obviously very fond of one another. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, once again, ISG is the blue side. This time starting to the east. Uh, of course, uh, yeah, uh, we're talking about one of the rare maps that has a west-east separation, sort yeah. of, when it comes to the starting points. Well, it's been a very long time since we saw this 132, though. Oh, absolutely. It's yeah. been at least a couple weeks, I think. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, but Nisa, of course, in that WZ-132, a very uh, kind of standard line has come out from both teams. Slight more mobility for PvP. They do go with the dual Amex 13s. However, uh, in Serious Gaming, we'll have an extra T32. And interestingly enough, Robin is probably not part of the roster today because he, it's he Hydra be busy, Rex. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's Hydra Rex that uh, took his place usually uh, with his 1390. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she trust me, fired here. Batman dodging a shell. That was courtesy of Nisa. So in serious gaming, actually, very interesting position here. They have a very strong presence towards the, the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have they have desk guys, and I'm sure C Chai kind of right behind him with Nisa kind of in the front, just doing scouting, and then the two aim safety back towards their base. They're really kind of contesting this hilltop area. And the thing is, I don't think this is completely worth it unless PP also go for the hilltop. Yeah, area. it's kind of risky because uh, they're because the northern edge will always be better for like a spreading. spreading well, yeah, yeah, exactly. So the they're forsaking run. the northern pass altogether this is this might not be a good idea yeah yeah it really just depends on how pp take the situation though if i mean if pp contests the southern area as well definitely have to give an advantage to this gaming but if pp decide to go for the north and then but spread why would out they, though they don't even have like the uh the heavier tanks so yeah, if i yeah, were pp yeah, yeah. i would definitely go for that northern pass yeah yeah that's definitely so so Hydro Rex and Batman here scouting in those Amex 13s for his team. Uh, I believe they have only spotted Nisa, so they don't know that the other teeth are here. That this guy is in like Seachar. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I like how uh, in this game we're kind of waiting just uh, just so that they make it up here without compromising. Them. Indeed, I would like to get uh, just eyes on the PvP tanks though, because we really don't know where they are. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. We only know where those two Amex 13s are actually. Andrew Co actually being spotted there as well. So I'm actually guessing that well, they, the they PP have like a yeah, position to the yeah, yeah, northern yeah. pass, which is really logical uh, considering uh, the scenario so far. Yeah, generally PP almost only send the lighter tanks to the southern part of the map. And then after that, they usually just either spread out to the north or go for like some kind of uh, two prong push. Only Anakoto being spotted at the most point. Elite actually clearing out the buildings, the destructible building that is based just in case. People well, there's go for a the capture, base. yeah, just happened. And now we finally get eyes on the PvP side right now. We have mostly positioned here to the north. The, the All the heavy tanks here to the north, actually, and only right now Hydro Rex to the southern part of the map. There it is another light tank, like to the water. It's probably a T1, well. though. I would not expect you know, an Amy 13 to It'd just be commit. useless, exactly, yeah. Exactly. For Batman to be all the way down there yeah, would be not ridiculous. even moving. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. It'd be ridiculous. Yeah, so only Hydro Rex there. And Batman, I'm actually kind of expecting him to be kind of uh, in between these uh, AMX-50 and the T-32. Yeah, yeah, he's Just probably going to start like scaling the airfield area. Yeah, 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 yeah. And once they actually they clear this area out, I'm sure they're going to start spreading out. They're going to send the AMX-50, well, yeah, they're going to send a T-32. They're going to they're gonna soon realize that none of the T-32s yep. are guarding the Northern Pass. And not even so. like an AMX-13 or AMX-50 on the Insidious Gaming side. There's one. posted to the Northern part, and there's no one guarding there. No, no, the, the, there's one AMX-50 like uh, elite that's clearing uh, the buildings pretty much. But because of the Ridge, there's that ridge on the base. That is true. That's yes, all the way around. To yeah, yeah. he doesn't have any clear shots. Like uh, Nisa, I think took a shot here. Yeah, Nisa he down to a about shot. 730 here, taking a shot from Anuto. Slight advantage going in favor of PVP, but and and I think same with position wise. I think PVP definitely have a slight advantage here. You know, and Cities Gaming are too committed down here, to, uh, down to the south. They should have left at least the T32 to guard like uh, yeah, the at least plus. a couple tanks there to the north. I mean, well, I mean like. I think like one T32 plus a 50, 100 behind would have been enough just yeah. to uh, you know calm down the uh, uh, the PVP uh, gusto up there. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, uh, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. it would have been a, a uh, enough of a deterrent. Yeah. Look at this. A T1. Yeah. Doesn't Will Fall make his, his way all the way to that kind of cliff area? Well, exactly that because he was a challenge. Yeah, yeah. Because because he wasn't challenged, so Nisa's probably going to go down for the hunt. Oh wow! And Hydrax winning that duel as well. Or actually, no, just taking out Hobbs there. Yeah, yeah. T1, he, so. he took out that T1, yeah, but yeah, I yeah. think uh, there's going to be a bit of retirement. Retaliation going, yeah, because Nisa went went around, so Dusty Malupong is going to go down here. Yeah, no, there you Nisa go. With a nice shot here. Well, he just rammed him pretty much. Yep. 
So uh, that settles it. But uh, now, although the PP members kind of know that the Northern Pass is being unprotected, that's why they're, they're moving all their out, tanks. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're, they're, they're slowly moving uh, their tanks uh, uh, forward, and that's pretty smart. And now, yes, I agree with you, they have the advantage. Because once they take position over those balconies, they will be able to land shots on whoever's down the w to the water. Yeah, and the thing is, in serious Gaming, although they're trying to respond, and they're trying to reposition at this point, you know, PP already have the position on them. And the thing is, if they go to those kind of uh, original camp positions that we see teams go for they're gonna get shot and they're gonna take more damage than PvP. Indeed, and the Nisa is trying whatever he can to just stem the onslaught, but he's it's not nearly gonna be going to be enough. A shot actually bounced off his hole there, so had that shot landed and gone through, it would have taken down Nisa too. Well, you know, yeah, exactly. C try and this guys have to have got to do something right now. Either yeah, they have yeah, to retreat yeah. and just really come back to their base, or they've got to push forward. But they can't stay where they are because otherwise they're gonna get picked off by the PP tanks. Uh, Honestly, if I were those T two T thirty two, I'd just go forward. Yeah, I'd go forward and maybe go for like a stranding maneuver. Or, or just maybe even one, because actually committing two might open up. It's your, useless. Yeah, yeah, it yeah might, you, might open up your door too much. I and don't besides, know, you won't even have any angles to uh, shoot the northern pass from, pretty much. It's I, I, I don't know. I, I'm not agreeing with this uh, Karen ISG positioning. Uh, I would at least try and position these T32s to be in a better position to contest this northern area of the map. This, this hilltop is decent, but but it doesn't. <coughs> give you cover uh, either. It doesn't give you cover, but it, okay, once you take cover, you can't shoot. That's the problem. The elevation doesn't allow you to both take cover and still crack shots like towards the uh, northern like uh, uh, pass it, because, well, they obviously have the advantage of the high ground uh, from that northern pass and they can still like hide be in between rocks. I mean, uh, so honestly, PEP does have a huge edge here. Yeah, as long as they, you know, continue to spread out and as long as they can kind of uh, kind of give Insidious Gaming less opportunities, they should eventually come out on top here already. Random Muerte goes down. Yeah, both the T1s on the PEP side falling here, so it's a pretty big loss actually, and a lot of vision is going to get denied. Not really, I mean, it's just like towards that that one that was towards the water. I, I, You know, the one thing is that you, it was kind of useless to send him out to his death, though. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. he should have stayed, stayed like, at the exactly water. Exactly, yeah. behind that rock, because, uh, yeah, you, you didn't take rocket science to figure out the T32s were already down there, so... Um, uh, kind of a useless bit of scouting here done uh, by Commando Muerte, or was it Dustin Lupon? Uh I think it was Dustin. Yes, it was probably Dustin there. Um, is he gaming still with the prayer? Pretty much similar. Oh, look at this. Taking a look at the PP side. They're all retreating. They were almost all to the kind of northeastern part, but I guess realizing the positioning of Insidious Gaming. They and they are they trading left to two down. Yeah, they didn't want to kind of commit and go all in for that strategy. So I like what they're doing here. Actually pulling back and then not going for, I, I guess, the... They can't afford the risk. Yeah, yeah, exactly, uh, exactly, exactly. Although, you know, they like, could have pulled it off. The thing is, it's still kind of going in favor of the defending team. Yeah, that's true. And, and you know, we might see a drop. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a possibility. I'm sure that PvP don't want to give away a free set. At the point, they are two to left down. And every single, I guess, you know, shot matters at this point. And they don't even want to give up, give up that. Okay, so they're going to reposition into the north northern part, more towards their side of the oh, map. Oh, but meanwhile, ISG is just really, really pushing, like, strong towards oh, the water now. Oh, wow. I think they're going to go for it, but I don't think they can pull this off, really. I, I don't reckon that they've got the angles to uh, capture the western base. Oh, Anuto taking a, 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 a hit, like, from Seachai. Yeah, Seachai getting... Seachai is doing well, like, to protect uh, his oh, mates Cichai that are progressing towards here. the water. But he's still doing well, though. I mean, because if it weren't for him, like, you know, Deskai's and everybody else would take shots while progressing towards the western base. I mean, yeah. look at where Nisa and Deskai's are at this point. Yeah. They're right at the entrance of the PP base. Yeah, look at that PP kind of they're separated gonna go for from it. their base here. Yeah, they're, they're going for it. Yeah, but and they're going to start the base capture. Yeah, but I, I, once again, I think it's going to be very hard for them to... But the uh, thing is, see, PP are so committed to the north part here that they have to kind of uh, peek out of the cliff area just to land shots onto those... Uh, uh, kind of tanks on their base at this point. Yeah, you see, look at Batman even trying to get in there, but that T1 still doing damage on him. And Nisa, although has taken damage, they still have the cover on that hilltop area. And because we've seen this so many times, the tanks on the hilltop can land clear shots to any team going or retreating from that northern pass. Indeed, and now uh, we've got, uh, well, now a couple of tanks that, uh, okay, this oh, guy's here wow. with a huge shot onto Hydro Rex. That's well done. And actually, because PP did not clear out these buildings before they moved out, it could pr prove to be quite crucial and quite decisive in this potential loss here. 20 seconds remaining. Yeah, this guy is actually hiding yeah. in this... Uh, in a destructible area. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So in order to uh, get him, you really have to uh, either blow the buildings away or just ram through those. 
Oh, T1 getting taken out. So I, I think PvP might just play this for the draw. Only about five oh, seconds Oh, but like, remaining. look at that. Batman is in great no danger, way. though. Batman, Batman is down. really in dire danger. 